what is good everybody it is your boy ace back with another props video for you guys yesterday we went six and one in the discord we went three and one on youtube uh neesmith over first half pra was our only chalk of the whole day i added three more props after um the youtube video later in the day like later the next day and they all cash so remember guys if you guys want to join the discord you get every single one of my plays like i, I went three and one on youtube which is still pretty good but you know if you join the discord you would have caught three more caches we went six and one 86 percent in the discord um so these are going to be the new prices starting friday i keep trying to remind you guys i know i sound like a broken record but i'm just trying to remind y'all because a lot of y'all have, have been joining from youtube so i'm just trying to remind you guys new prices go into effect on friday it is already thursday 12 a.m yeah so 24 hours from now from the time that this is being recorded uh, the prices will already be in the new prices so right now you can get this starter membership with all these perks you could you could re uh, pause pause the video real quick and read it um you can get this membership for only 15 bucks for your first month up until friday once it hits friday 12 a.m eastern so 9 p.m pacific standard time these new prices will go into effect and also we are running a lifetime discount right now one-time purchase for two hundred dollars we made it two hundred dollars um i made it two hundred dollars up until friday as well so yeah you guys can go ahead and take advantage of that um take advantage of that uh offer i was trying to find the graphic i made for it but i can't find it i made a little graphic but it, it's all good you could buy lifetime for only two hundred dollars right now and i know i, I say only ugh, but uh it's, it's 20 percent off um i've had like 10 guys from youtube join the lifetime with the one time $200 purchase because you know it's 20% off and it's going up literally uh, less than 24 hours from now because we're going by East Coast time. But yeah, these are these are prices. If you guys want to join the Discord, you guys are going to get props like this. I sent out this Edwards uh, chalkboard, had a few free squares today because they were like, um, I think it was like an anniversary or something like that. So I sent this one out, uh, this slip and Mather and cashed. Um, so we hit that one. We had another one unit. We cashed all our one unit plays because I put all my plays in confidence order. Or like not confidence order, but like when I write my write-ups, I'll do like Mather and I put one unit on the write-up. And then Curry under was one unit. And then DeJounte over one and a half threes was one unit. And then like his first half period was half a unit. So all of our one unit plays cashed. Um, all of our one unit plays cashed yesterday so yeah six and one day you guys need to join the discord for all the catches link is in the description uh link is also in my twitter bio at real ace pick so make sure you guys join that but let's get into our first prop so our first prop actually was on prize picks i posted this prop i believe five hours ago from the time i'm recording i posted this all right i posted this prop in the discord five hours ago but by now it's already been taking taken off of um prize picks and it's still an underdog though. It's Spencer Dinwiddie under 10 and a half RA. And for proof, some of y'all might be like, oh, you didn't post anything. I posted five hours ago, 7.30 p.m. It's 12.50 a.m. Dinwiddie under 10 and a half RA. And it was on price picks at the time. But yeah, it's currently an underdog. So remember guys, like <laughs> if you guys want all the props on time and all the props, I keep saying it. You got to join the Discord. Curry under six and a half assists. I posted that on the video. We we had it on Prize Picks. It got taken off of Prize Picks like in the middle of my recording, and it cashed on Prize Picks. E uh, not easily. He had six assists. But yeah, we got that pre bump value. So you guys got to be in the Discord getting all that pre bump value. Uh, we get a ton of value. But so our first prop is gonna be Dinwiddie under 10 and a half rebounds plus assists. So let's look at why. So Dennis Smith Jr. is the backup point guard for the Brooklyn Nets, and he has a pretty big role. If we look recently at the Nets games, we look at Dinwiddie's last few games. In January, he's played four games. He's averaging 27 and a half minutes per game. He used to average like 33 minutes, but in his last four games, he's only averaging 27 and a half minutes per game. And if we look at Dennis Smith Jr.'s time in that in those games, in his last three games, he's averaging 25 minutes per game. So he's only averaging like two to three less minutes than Spencer Dinwiddie, which is kind of crazy. He used to average only 21, and Dinwiddie used to average like 33, and now they're like right next to each other. So Dinwiddie is cutting into Dinwiddie, or <laughs> Dennis Smith Jr. is cutting into Dinwiddie's production, as you can see. Um, Dennis Smith Jr., 10 assists, 7 assists, 4 assists, 12 rebounds in one of these games. So he's been cutting into that RA production from Dinwiddie's uh, role. He's been cutting that RA out. Um, 
Dinwiddie's really seen a decreased role. With we've seen that with his, he's gotten lesser minutes recently as Dennis Smith Jr.'s minutes have been uh, increased. They've been ramping up. Um, but yeah, let's look at their potential assists real quick. Potential assists in their last five games. Last five games for the Brooklyn Nets. You'll see here that actually Dennis Smith Jr. is averaging one more potential assist in his last five games as opposed to Spencer Dinwiddie, which is kind of crazy considering he plays, he's played seven less minutes in this span and recently he's only playing like two less minutes or three less minutes. And yeah, he's just been, he's been, been passing the ball more, getting more potential assists. He hasn't been passing him uh, more, but he has been getting more potential assists and Dinwiddie, that's just cutting into Dinwiddie's production and cutting into his minutes. So. Dennis Smith Jr. 12 potential assists and 6.3 assists and then Dinwiddie 11 potential assists and only almost five assists so Den Dennis Smith Jr. has been getting more of that assist production and in that same span if we look at the last five games for the Brooklyn Nets and look at rebound chances um, Dennis Smith Jr. is averaging 7.8 rebound chances which is amazing for a guard he's averaging four and a half rebounds in his last five games and if we look at Dinwiddie he's bottom three out of the whole team only f almost five not even five rebound chances and he's only averaging two and a half rebounds in that span and if we look at his prop his RA is higher than four higher than his assists so like that's crazy because if he's only getting five rebound chances recently and he's only getting actually two and a half rebounds this this RA prop should not be like four higher it should be if his assist is at six and a half this should be like at nine and a half and that's like I would still rather take the RA because He's only been getting two and a half and his rebound chances are awful if he was getting like six or seven rebound chances and he just wasn't converting them then maybe i'd be a little scared but he's not even getting the uh, voluminous amount of rebound chances i think that's a word voluminous pretty sure that's a word but um yeah you guys get the point and if we look at the matchup in the last 30 days the cavaliers are allowing the least assists to point guards so it's like even if he was getting his potential assist, this is still the worst matchup in the league in the last 30 days. And then in the rebound department, they're allowing the fourth least rebounds to point guards in the last 30 days, but the least assists to point guards in the last 30 days. This has already been taken off of prize picks. This is still an underdog. I suggest locking it in while you get the chance. I'd, I'd put max like one unit on this. I, I'd put one unit on this actually, yeah. I think I did one, one and a half units, but I would suggest putting one unit on this because I mean, the the... The potential assists are lower now the rebound chances are low and then the matchup is just absolutely awful so i love when all those three are um on the same page uh, another prop i have for you guys is on prize picks and this one is a little bit risky okay bear with me if you don't like the write-up if you don't like the prop you don't have to take it you could reverse it or you could fade it you know you could do what you want but personally i will be taking this i'll only be taking this for like half a unit though because i know it is kind of risky but it's going to be Kyrie under 30 and a half points. Yes, I know Luca is out. I do know Luca is out. Um, but if we look at his two games without Luca this season, he's gone under in both of those games 10 points and 24 points. So he hasn't really, really been um, necessarily close to this line at all. Um, but beware, this prop might get bumped up to 31 because this, I feel like people, a lot of people are going to take this over. So this could be bumped up to 31, but I'm not sure. Um, the current odds, if we check the current odds real quick. Let's see, he might be juiced a little bit on the over. Minus one, so even odds right now. So I mean, he could get bumped up, he could get bumped down, but I, I personally like the under at 30 and a half. So he's under in both games this season without Luka this, uh, yeah, without Luka. And if we look at court IQ, the Mavericks are dealing with a few injuries. So uh, if we go to off court, can we go to Luca off the court? Obviously, because he's out. Um, Derek, Derek Lively is also doubtful for this game. That is another injury. And then Dante Exum is out for this game as well. If we go to Kyrie stats per 36 minutes with these three guys out, Kyrie is averaging only 21 points per game with three, these three guys out. And the main beneficiary is actually Tim Hardaway Jr. who's been getting 28 points uh, per 36 minutes with these three out. And Ky yeah, Kyrie's only been averaging like 21 points per game or 21 points per 36 minutes. 
when Tim Hardaway Jr. is on the court, his points do go um, up a little bit, though. If I can find him, there he is. So he's getting like, he's only getting like 23 minutes, or sorry, 23 points per 36 minutes when Exum, Lively, and Luke are out, and it's Kyrie and Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway doesn't start, but he does get uh, more minutes than the, than the starters usually. So that's why I have him on the court here. So he's getting like 23 points almost, and then without Tim Hardaway Jr., he's getting like 22. So yeah, that's very, very lower than that 30, 30 and a half line that we saw, right? Also, the starting lineup for this Mavericks team is going to be Kyrie Irving, or expected to be Kyrie Irving, uh, Hardy, I believe his name is uh, Jaden Hardy, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Jaden Hardy, uh, Josh Green, Derek jo Jones Jr., and Dwight Powell. That is the starting lineup for the Mavericks, and this is this is not the the Mavericks G League team. This is their this is their their real team, and they're going against a red hot Knicks team who have gone five and zero since they've traded for OG and Anobi. Five and zero, that is insane. They've beaten teams like the the Timberwolves. They beat the Timberwolves the first game with OG. They've also beaten the Sixers with Embiid, and they blew them out. So they've beaten some pretty good teams. They've beaten some pretty bad teams as well, but they've beaten some pretty good teams in that five game win streak. Um, but yeah, they're red hot right now. I know the spread is pretty close. I let me check the spread real quick. The spread is four and a half points, but to be honest, I feel like that's kind of disrespectful. I don't know how Luca or I don't know how Kyrie would be able to carry this team. If he does, then he's just gonna drop like 40. But I, I just don't think it happens. Also, OG and Anobi, as we talked, the Knicks are on a hot streak since getting him, acquiring him. OG and Anobi, um, he's the best defender on the Knicks by far. And the matchup currently by position would mean that he'd be matched up with Josh Green, and I just highly doubt uh, they're gonna have OG and Anobi guard Josh Green in this matchup where everybody is just a bum, and it's just Kyrie. They should definitely have OG and Anobi on Kyrie. And um, ever since acquiring OG and Anobi, the Knicks are allowing the eighth least points per game to point guards in the last seven days. So that's pretty good matchup, or like pretty tough matchup for our. It's pretty good for our under. Um, point guards really haven't been able to do much against them and also out of all the starters on the Knicks since joining the Knicks OG and Anobi is allowing the lowest field goal percentage uh, against restricted area shots the second lowest field goal percentage against paint shots and the lowest field goal percentage against the mid-range and also the lowest field goal percentage against above the break threes and Kyrie, he thrives on those above the break threes. He thrives in the in the paint in the restricted area. And OG Ananobi has been absolutely locked down um, since joining the Knicks. And also the Knicks as a team in their last five games since acquiring OG, they're allowing the lowest field goal percentage in the restricted area as a whole. Um, also the lowest field goal percentage against mid-range shots and also against corner three shots. Although I don't think Kyrie will be taking many corner threes, that lowest field goal percentage against the restricted area will help out a ton because Kyrie gets a ton of his uh, production from there and also the above the break three. And Anobi has been locking that down. So pretty hard matchup. I think it's gonna be a blowout personally, which is why I also like the prop because of the blowout potential onto it. And I mean, if OG and Anobi's on him, it, like, they might as well just double Kyrie, like make somebody up, make Josh Green beat you. So yeah, I'm liking that prop. If you don't like it, if you're scared, you know you can, you don't have to take it. But I like I like the numbers behind it. I like the logic behind it. I like the hit rate. So yeah. And then our last prop of the day is going to be a chalkboard prop. Um, it's going to be Max Struess. I don't think I bet on Max Struess all year, but you're getting your chance, buddy. Max Struess over one and a half threes. So Darius Garland and Evan Mobley are out once again for this game. And Max Struess has gone over in nine out of 11 games with both of those guys out, averaging basically three threes per game in that span. Uh, 2.9 two threes, basically three threes in that span. Also, the Nets as a team, if we look at their last five games, who's allowing the most, or who's allowing the highest above the break three point percentage in their last five games? The Nets, huh, okay. Pretty good matchup, right? Last 10 games, surely. Surely not, yep, okay. The Nets, again, last 15, no way, right? Surely, okay. So the Nets have been allowing the highest three-point percentage against above the break threes in the last 15, the last 10, their last five games. So continuous trend. We love to see multiple data points showing the same thing. Um, that's, that's absolutely insane. Last 10, 15, and five games, they're allowing the highest three-point percentage against above the break threes. And that's where Max Struess uh, thrives. If we look at his last five games as a whole, 
He's shooting 36% from that above the break three. And he's also been very good in, uh, in corner threes with not that much uh, volume though, but he's shooting 43% in that minimal volume. So he could hit a corner three and then an above the break three and it would be good. But um, specifically, Max Struess in his last five games, and just in general, he's a he's a catch and shoot three point shooter. If we look at catch and shoot specifically, he's averaging the third highest catch and shoot three point percentage in the Cavs last five games, averaging almost 41, so 40.6 percent from catch and shoot threes. He's also taking the most catch and shoot threes on the team. So um, even though he doesn't have the best, the highest percentage, even though he's the third best, so that's still really good. He's taking more threes than these other guys. So. I mean, we love the volume there, right? Catch and shoot. But let's look at how the Nick, uh, the sorry, the Nets specifically are against the catch and shoot three. Um, I believe I have it. Yeah, I have it here. In their last ten games, the Nets are allowing the second highest three point percentage against catch and shoot threes in specific. So we're getting very much into specifics here. Max Drews, great three point shooter great catch and shoot three-point shooter the nets awful against guarding three and also awful uh at guarding the catch and shoot three point i know that they're not the most but they're still allowing 46.6 percent catch and shoot three point percentage which is higher than they're um, allowed above the break three in general so they're even worse specifically against catch and shoot threes and max Struess has just been killing it from catch and shoot threes and also the uh, max Struess he played the nets one time this season it was months ago so i mean i don't really care about games from months ago he did play them one time this season october 25th and he had seven three-pointers so i mean he's already done it against them i know some of you guys might care about that i don't really care about that stat because it was months ago but yeah he killed them earlier this season so um yeah great matchup for him so we got three props for the youtube folks dinwiddie under 10 and a half ra it was on prize picks we posted on prize picks in the discord but now it's been bumped or take it off the board completely and it might be back up it is not it's on underdog though a sleeper chalkboard Dinwiddie under 10 and a half uh rebounds plus assists and then prize picks Kyrie under 30 and a half points and then chalkboard Struess over one and a half threes so if you guys like this video please leave a like down below if you guys are tailing anything comment down below what you are tailing um, I'm hoping we cash again yesterday. We cashed on the channel. We cashed even more in the discord So remember guys, these are the membership the prices that are going to into effect later on today to, or Not later on the day like 20 hours from now So go ahead join the discord as soon as possible Go ahead and DM me lock in that $200 lifetime. It's only $200 until until Friday 12 a.m If not go ahead lock in a starter membership um, Right now, it's only $15 for the first month until friday or you know lock in another membership but yeah those those prices are on discount until friday 12 a.m but yeah this has been another video i'll catch y'all in the next video good luck and deuces